The Tour of Britain is the UK's most prestigious bike race, spanning eight days starting from Manchester and making its way around the UK and finishing in Curfilly in South Wales. My friend Kira and I were both lucky to be catching the race finale as a VIP and following the action up close. For any cycling fan, this would literally be a dream come true. Come and join us on a bit of a mad couple of days with the Tour of Britain. But first, I've got to find where I'm staying first. This. I can see your lights. Keep going down. Uh, oh wait, it's not your lights, maybe. Oh no, it is, maybe. Did I go past? Are you going up a hill? I'm going down now. Yeah. No. no. Are you going very slow? I'm going very slow, yes. Okay, stop your car. Yeah, it's you. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh my god. Way, so. Yeah. There we go. We made it. Dude, I'm so. I'm actually like. Stop. Oh no. What, what's cooking? Broccolis. Bro Broccolis. Okay, it's like oh, actually. I, yeah. I meant to do it like that. Uh, it's chef. Oh, yeah. Basically, I put roast vegetables on. And then I went out and I was like, oh, amazing sunset, I'll, uh, I'll fly the drone. <laughs> and then I crashed the drone into Sorry, the farm crashed. over there. <laughs> anyway, I've, this is as it's going dark, so I've like missed, no. this, I've missed the sunset because but it's... Your drone's there. Yeah. I'm so you got it. it. But I like, had to like sneak over someone's wall. Oh my gosh. To and get then the drone I back. got back and everything was on fire. <laughs> Oh my god. So this is attempt two at dinner, Brocco You legend, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god. I am an absolute shell. So, good morning. We are currently in Wales. We've got a really, really nice cottage that we're staying in. Like, you don't believe how good it is. Like, look at the settings here. This is the drive. So cottages.com sorted out the maddest gaff for us in the beautiful Welsh countryside. Nestled just above the market town of Abergavenny, the settings were absolutely immaculate. Needless to say, we had a super nice time throughout our stay. And here's a little house tour. Guess what? We have, we have, check this out. We have hot tub. Hot tub. We have a hot tub and Inside, take a little inside tour. Kira's just plugging away, doing a route. Today we're going out on a ride. Check out what's what's uh, what's in town. Do some climbing. We're going to climb some mountains, aren't we, Kira? Yeah. Look at this profile. I'll look at it in a minute. Anyway, house tour. <laughs> we got a kitchen here. We'll see you in a minute. See you in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Literally unloaded yesterday. Um, oh, it's a bit dark. Uh, yeah, literally unloaded last night. Kira made me dinner. And then, um, yeah, like literally just unloaded and dumped everything in the kitchen table. So it is what it is. We have this lovely, lovely staircase. Look at this. The window all the way up to the top. View of the courtyard from here. We have a mystery bike. We have another rear garden in case the courtyard and the front drive and all of that is was not enough. We've got a pool table. Um, what else do we have? We've got this is more bedrooms. Ooh, nice shower. And then view again. Like it's a nice horseshoe shape sort of thing here and yeah I mean absolutely immaculate settings really excited for our ride and Kira says check out the route and the profile oh wow wow we have two big old climbs today you're getting dropped today Kira uh makes a change <laughs> <laughs> You can actually book this place on cottages.com. Yeah. Property reference is 35266 Whitehorse Farm. 
Let's go. Are we done yet? Have you got your sun cream on? I have. I've forgotten everything I was meant to do. Should we go? Let's go! Let's go! Anyways, our priority was actually to get out on bikes and check out what's about and climb some mountains. But after just five kilometers down the road, Kira was feeling the bonk. Uh, three, three miles in. Gav, for stop. What are you saying? Coconut. Coconut macaroons. That would do its trick. Not bad. <laughs> Our first climb was the, uh, I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce this. Not too steep, no stupid gradients, generally a nice and steady climb with some amazing views at the top and it even had the best position mattress in the world. We then flew down the mountain and grabbed a light lunch in the quaint yeah, little town it? of Crick Owl. Look at these cute little houses though. There's a guy up there taking a photograph if you say slowly. Oh, oh yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's the day for it. it is, yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. Just uh, making friends with the locals. <laughs> 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 Then made our way to another climb, the tumble. Bike. This one was a <laughs> of a climb. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm getting that way, yeah. Sure, it's the post cafe. Ah, oh, last gear. Oh, you got one more gear. Oh, you need it. Ah, oh, down to the lowest gear. No way for me. Not quite as good a view at the top. Some very sheepish sheep, which yeah. didn't want to say hi to us. Got some. No, don't think the sheep likes you very much. It's a bit sheepish. Yeah. We then tumbled <laughs> back down and ran out of daytime and it was home time. After a hearty dinner, courtesy of myself, if I do say so, we hopped in the hot tub and wine before bedtime. <laughs> Get the feet feet pits in. Oh, look at that! Look at that <laughs> foot. Oh, oh. It's gonna turn into a different type of content. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, look at this! Oh. Oh. Bring it. The next day was the day we'd been waiting for. It was time to go watch some bike racing. You can be my swan, yeah. Race day today. Bit of a mad rush this morning, but got someone here to pick us up i'm still not awake though it's like what is it it's like 7 30. 7 30. we are late our, our driver is like waiting for us and we're still packing stuff up more passion more, more energy more, more passion. passion more energy <laughs> right let's go let's do it Bloody bloggers. Anyway, you need to lock the door. Oh shit. Off we go. Off we go. Tell me something, it might just take the pain away. So we were picked up in the morning and our chauffeur for the day was Danielle. I believe it's very beautiful, very scenic, big big finish. Um, so hopefully same attacking riding as yesterday. Plenty of crowds. Hopefully the weather sticks. <laughs> Super knowledgeable about the race and full of passion and energy for all things bike. We checked out the start at Margam Country Park, a beautiful country park estate where today's stage starts. Hey, <laughs> we checked out the team vehicles, the riders, the bikes rubbed shoulders with some of the pros who greeted the crowd and caught up with some of our friends who were racing. Yeah man, that was quite successful wasn't it? Very successful. We didn't see uh, Wild Vanart though. 
Yeah, but it's more my people tell his people. <laughs> Whatever that means. Anyways, it was time for the race to start. So we hopped in our VIP vehicle for the rollout. Pretty crazy how much organization goes into a race like this, doesn't it? It's crazy. Like, that's, this is how thick it is, like, and each page has a lot of info to, you know, down to minute details, like where they pass, for example, what hazards there are on the road. You'll laugh at this. One year they had on the on the race manual, or the last time I, I worked at the Tour of Britain, they had ducks crossing. Ducks crossing? Yeah, they had a duck crossing wow. marked on the... Okay. What do we have here? We've got uh, no ducks here. No ducks. I'm sure sheep will, will be a thing. Cattle grid, fast descent, speed cushion, build outs. I don't know what a build out is. Now, second guest car driven by uh, Daniel Riley. Good morning to Akira on the Kelvin Chung. Hope you have a great day. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can't lie, but this is as good as it gets when watching a live bike race. And we were quite literally in the front seat. There was a breakaway of six riders that formed early on in the day and we managed to tuck in nice and close to the action. Crowds lined along the roads through the day, sometimes in dribs and drabs, sometimes in their masses, in villages and towns and at the top of climbs. I'm for a sandwich. Sandwich? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I'm with the race on the race route. We are going to stop the race at kilometre 83.5, bring the race together. We will ride neutralised off of the race route under police escort and restart the race at kilometre 89.6 with the time gap intact at 3 minutes. After the penultimate climb, we went straight to the finishing circuit in Kerfili. The circuit featured a bit of a savage climb, Kerfili Mountain, and the crowds there were absolutely epic. We then got dropped right by the finish line to get a perfect front row spot for the finish. won by Carlos Rodriguez of Ineos who soloed to victory. Then came the final presentations for the podiums. Kira was last minute called to present the Cottages.com sprint jersey classification which was won by Olaf Coy of Team Jumbo Visma. His teammate Walt Van Aert secured the race overall win. Anyways it was a sick day out and the vibes were absolutely on point. Couldn't get any better, can't wait for them both. Can't wait for both the men's and women's tour of Britain to roll through next year. That's it for now. Catch you in the next video.